What's up everyone and welcome to Radio 2. So today we're going to be reacting to Pentatonix. We're back with the sing-off performances. This is their third performance. They're going to be singing Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for their third performance. I love to watch this sing-off thing like their third song. I love to see how they improve each and every single song. And yes, I'm just excited to continue. This has been requested by my dear Patreon, Heidi. Heidi, thank you so much again for continuing this Pentatonix in the in the sing-off series. You know, I, I just love it. I enjoy it. So uh, yeah, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm definitely ready. This is Pentatonix in the sing-off, Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin. Three, two, one. I love the 60s. I think I was like, born in the wrong time. We are not from the 60s, but we've been doing our research. Was Woodstock in the 60s? Yes. Was it Jimi Hendrix? Yes. Was the Who in the 60s too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We love James Taylor, Dusty Springfield, and Sam and Dave. <laughs> It's an incredibly rich experimental time because if the rules got kind of thrown out the window. You're not playing standards anymore. You're inventing a new sound. One, yeah. two, three, four. Six, Those are the other In the '60s, you didn't have the digital technology that we have today. You didn't have auto tune. It really relied on on voices. A lot of recordings were just one takes. Hell yeah. North Shore definitely has an That's advantage because they they're the only ones that were around in the 60s. We're the grandparents and uh, we have been singing since 1965. Back oh. then, you had to just sing. You couldn't do any effects. This is our style of music. We should be able to knock this out of the park. Yeah. So you this guys is the suck, team. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, you guys suck. In the 60s, it's such a fun free-spirited, energetic time. And I think it really actually lends to the Ayers style a lot. Our group has never, ever done a 60s song before, but I know oh. that we'll be able to pull this song together and really work hard. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Step. Body better. I'm pretty sure you're right. Back when I was in college, I sang in the same a cappella group with Sarah Bareilles. One of the songs in our rep was I Want You Back, which incidentally is the same song Sonos is doing this week. It's totally different from the original and from the way we did it then, so I hope she gets a kick out of it. So the 60s the were an innocent time. Like, I think what, five, six that the audience will go back in time and remember how hopeful the 60s were, and maybe we can get some of that hope back again. We'll start it off with a five-person group that packs a punch with ultra-modern pop. Now they're reigniting a tune by a fellow Texan that set the 60s on fire. Performing the classic Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin, here's Pentatonix. All right. Come on. Obvious dancing in the zone over here. <laughs> <laughs> we have the trumpet over here. Uh, Kevin was feeling it over here. <laughs> Right. 
Nice going pentatonics. I know I feel good. Sean, you feel good? I would have never thought to arrange the song that way, but it actually it came out real fly. Give it up one time for the flugelhorn. Come on, man. <laughs> Kevin, that was off the hook, man. That was great. The reggae feel and, and, and all of that was just a really great bonus to obviously a great record. Janice was an awesome vocalist and, you know, she had that grit and that grime when it came to her singing and it was awesome. The way you guys spun it was a stone groove, my man. It was off the hook. I loved it. All right. <laughs> Sarah, what'd you think? I was hoping I would fill up this page with all sorts of notes and I just was like, you know, just staring at you guys, <laughs> giddy the whole time. I thought that was great. Um, I, like Sean, I didn't expect the arrangement to go that way at all, and I thought that was a really cool, smart choice to sort of put this song into a place where you guys could really sort of make it your own. I love that phrase. It's you made it your own, man. Um, I, I thought, Kevin, you killed it, um, both on trumpet <laughs> or flugelhorn or... <laughs> great I love it um, I thought you had a great groove and I think you guys have just a really great blend I think at some point I was kind of missing the powerhouse of your other arrangements and choices but it's so great to know that you're versatile um, and and you did it really well yeah well done Ben well, my, my favorite musical groups take risks and sometimes they bust their ass and sometimes they do a great job, which is what you guys just did. That was great. Like, you nailed it that time. So I, I hope that you keep taking risks, because sometimes you miss and sometimes you don't, but it's so much more interesting uh, mm -hmm. when you nail it. Every once in a while, you guys want to rush, and, and this time it wasn't very often, but there was a moment that you could have slowed down a bit, and that was on the come-ons. Could have just waited a little bit to give us a downbeat, and I think it would have won there. Avi, great bass singing, man. His deep voice sounded awesome. Finally, finally, Overall, let's go. It just really worked. You didn't stay precious to the 60s version, and it won for you that time. Yeah. Nice work. Okay, we'll find oh, out yeah, soon if you move forward. Guy. Thanks, Pentatonix. Oh, when we nice. come back, two more vocal bands go retro on back-to-back -back 60s classics. All right, let's see. We're one step how, how closer to the left? elimination on oh, oh, the sing off. Let's see what we got. They should show up more of Pentatonix, okay? Let's see Want to go behind the scenes at the sing-off? Check out NBC.com and follow internet sensation Sam Shuey as he takes you up close and personal with all our groups. I know this guy. Hey. Hey. I knew this guy yeah, when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> What uh, what for me was funny, I even read in the comments, uh, <laughs> there was this comment about how the other groups are dead serious and Scott's like, maybe we'll work hard, I don't know. And that, that also, I, pay, I paid attention to that in the beginning of the video. All the groups were like dead serious about the 60s and everything. Like it's, they want to produce the best music possible, they were practicing. Well, you see Pentatonix just playing on the beach, like they, 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 don't, they don't care at all. <laughs> like <laughs> without a single care in the world, they just like... They know they're gonna get it done. I mean, that's Pentatonix. You know, they're they're very playful, you know, and everything from what I know this. But they're also very confident. They they know what they can do from from an early stage of the competition, from an early stage of their journey together. They obviously <laughs> they obviously just know they're gonna nail it, and I feel like they did not. Can't say that this is one of my favorite songs. To be honest, I mean, it's a uh, it's way out of their reach I guess out of their comfort zone especially for here for this competition and everything they came in with the thoughts of doing every song to change it to EDM and stuff like that more modern songs well when you go back to the 60s you can't really do that but they but they did it in the best way possible I also feel like when I like this Ben guy I don't know what's his got his his last name the guy with the glasses and everything he he's always given like the best the best comments about pentatonics like the the, the best type of of criticism you know he, Tells them when to slow it down, tells them how to do this, how to do that. He's really paying attention to what they're singing. And I'm really glad that he gave a shout out to my boy Avi, man. Because in, indeed the bass, he, he is doing it very low and I'm happy that uh, they're appreciating him. Now, I really want someone to see 
someone to just pay attention to, to Mitch now too. I want Mitch to get his flowers. They need to have a song where Mitch is going to show his true abilities. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for the public to get Mitch slapped for the first time because nobody has got Mitch slapped over here. They, they all got mesmerized by Scott, by Kirsty. You know, like they saw what Kevin can do. They saw what Avi can do. But now I want to see people get Mitch slapped in this in this competition and it's and and then they will know that this group is special that each and every single one of them has the potential to be a solo star of their own if they were in the group and uh, yeah i think soon they're all gonna find out but i i just like it how uh, i like how ben specifically is just he's really paying attention to what they're seeing how they're seeing it and how they can get better i really like that he's he's just uh, he like a lot of like he he's probably seemed like a not such a cool guy but some people but i feel like he is he is the coolest guy of the three judges i really like him the most like he is the other judges are also you know very nice and everything but but this guy is like he he is just good he he is good at his job he just knows what to say and how to say it and and i can just a very smart man overall he understands his understanding of music is different than the other two like the girl is just she She's like me. She likes everything. <laughs> the other guy is is all right, you know. He he's given a few comments. He he is noticing the he's noticing the abilities of each and every single one of them. Wow. While him, you know, like like the Bang guys is like he he is noticing everything. He is paying attention to everything that they sing, and he is a true judge. So I really like that. And Pentatonics, I mean, I love to see this. Uh, love to see how they proceed in this competition. I mean, it's just. You see the way they slowly improve, how they switch songs, how they get out of their comfort zone again and again and again and again. And you love to see that. You really love to see that. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Heidi, for this request. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be it for me. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next one.